my name is Kim Leva, and um, my husband and son are the stars or in the movie. And now that they've been in the movie and you know they're out in public, they have people coming up to them and asking for autographs, and it's pretty crazy. In, in 20, you know, I've, been, I've seen a lot of these videos over the years and uh, helped you out a little bit here and there. But that this one was really uh, top notch. I think kicked it up a notch this year and uh, seeing it at the the saunting at the movie theater was probably the coolest thing because I never sauntered one at an actual theater before so that was pretty cool you know what I'm saying First chair, first ticket, how are you? I think that uh, it was a pretty good crowd. People were pretty into it here. There was so much good uh, snowboarding in this one. Um, I think it'll be sweet to, to get some pinball footy together for the Pin Pin, pin 2020.5. When you have a film like, like Pin Pin, the, the next, uh, what you call it, the next, every year everybody looks forward to that coming out. And it's to be expected that there's gonna be, be a lot of crowds. And I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you just, it just comes with the game. Like you're gonna go see Pin Pin premieres, like you gotta be ready to, to battle. Like, it's like going into the pit maybe. But ever, overall, everybody was pretty well behaved. Um, I think there were a lot of disappointed people they didn't get in, but, but there was more than one saunting, so just got to wait for the next one. Um, I know when the hoodies ran out, I thought there was really going to be some problems, but um, I think those will be up on eBay soon enough. People will figure it out, do something. That was a really cool premiere and I look forward, I, after the movie ended, I wanted to see the sequel right away, so I can't wait to see the sequel. I've worked on a lot of, a lot of films and um, when, you, when you're working on a Pin Pin film, you just have to know how, how Trailer Tom works and um, you just can't, it's just not like any other experience that there is. So. Um, it, it's real life, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta like show up and be ready to go. So uh, Zeno and I were, we're gonna go do some, some surf sledding at Loveland one day. And uh, Trailer Tom said, hey, why don't you guys let me know when you're there? So we did and we showed up ready to, to do some uh, shredding, but you know, you just don't know what's going to happen. Trailer Tom walks up to you, hands you some paper and says, here's your lines, man. Be ready to go. You got to be professional. You got to be ready to just act. And, um, you know, after a lot of years, like we're familiar with that flow. Zane, you know, he's not quite as familiar with it because um, he was baby Zane back in the days. But now he's, you know, as part of training. It's not just snowboard training, like you gotta be ready for these films. So I think he learned a lot from that experience and uh, he actually did pretty good on his lines that day. Um, we did have problems with the craft services because we weren't exactly prepared. So I think we just had granola bars. Usually, you know, we keep it real, you know, and we have sushi, taco bar, stuff like that, but, but hey, you know, we're ready, we're professional, we know, we know we're signing up.
but you also snowboard, so you have the pinball and snowboarding background. Do you think that helped you for your part in the Pin Pin 20 film? Yeah, you know, I, I've always been pretty focused pretty heavy on the pinball side of things. Um, but, you know, I've been really kind of retired from pinball for a while now. So it was kind of nice to start looking at the snowboard side a little more. Um, I've been training pretty hard with with Zane. Uh, you know, Zane's up and coming and, and hitting it hard and like pushing it every week to get a little harder, or a little harder tricks, harder terrain, um, you know, just starting to kind of blow it up now that he's getting a little bit older and uh, I have to chase him, you know, so that's, that's where my focus is at now. So probably uh, keep doing that. We're already training hard for next next season, watching film, um, you know, probably hour of film every day, hitting the, the weight room, you know, you gotta, you gotta lift weights, like, you know, probably six days a week, you know, so that you can be prepared, um, be prepared for all those big drops. That's what it's about, you know, doing big drops, doing butters, doing backside microwave slides. Hardly anyone knows about that trick, but, but it's a trick. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing, you know what I'm saying? That all the reviews have been positive about, about these movies over the years, and this one is, you know, another big hit for sure. Um, we're always excited to work with Trailer Tom on these projects. You know, like I said, he's, he's you know, strictly professional, uh, runs a real good show. Um, I think everybody should really recognize how much work that goes into these, these projects and how much time that, uh, time and expense and uh, the passion and just the blood, sweat, and tears that that Tom puts into these, you know, I mean, who else is going to carry a freaking 30-pound vacuum cleaner around, like, every day for, like, two years? Um, and that vacuum cleaner weighs, like, 30 pounds, because I carried it once. There's... Ugh. Here's the data gathering <laughs> device. Yeah, this is probably, you know, you should probably auction this thing or something for uh, charity. I don't know, wearing a spacesuit and holding this thing with one arm out in front of you, doing uh, tricks, it's the real deal. Go off to jump, hike back up the hill, go off to jump, go back up the hill. Like, that's just that's what it takes, man, to be in this game. All right, anything you'd like to say, Zane, about your uh, Pin Pin 20 experience? It was pretty pretty crazy. There was a lot of people there. It was quite the production. I was pretty bad at snowboarding back then. The footage makes me cringe when I watch it. You got some better tricks now. What do you think is your best top favorite trick, maybe? If you had to pick one. Probably a flat ground three and then a nose roll. Any tricks you're uh, excited about for this upcoming season on the goal list? I'm trying to do some inverts this season. I'm pretty good at going down like some pretty steep and gnarly terrain now though. Like you've been launching some pretty big drops and stuff. Now you did the design on the Pin Pin 7 movie poster. What was that experience like? It was super fun. Um, I was back, you know, when I was a young designer and, um, you know, maybe next year or whenever you want the next poster, I can definitely help you out. I love, I love the shirts. Those are super fun and the animation was really fun and the, with the little battle, battle people. So I can't wait, you know, I can't wait to make it even better next time and see the new movie.